covered the table topic speech. But what we don't realize is that it's a storytelling. You are not telling other story. You are not telling a lecture. You are not giving a lesson to anyone say, listen to me, believe in this, and believe in what. No, you just have to say your own story. So I always feel like it's, it's so easy. It's about your thing. Talk about your story. Talk about my exchanges life. Talk about my school life. Talk about your academic life. Talk about everything in your life. Correlated to your um, to your life is something that's most easy. For example, you are going to the flight attendant interview. Okay, relate that. Um, let's think of a question. Like I said, what is new about your life? Something new. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to the interview tomorrow. The end. <laughs> Tell me something more about the interview. Like I guess, uh, what, what did I ask you? What was your answer? You are the, you just got into the big company. Okay? Oh, you had the presentation last week. Something more, what about the presentation? What is the presentation about? Who is the presentation directed to? What is the purpose of the direct uh, presentation? How did you feel about the presentation? How long did you prepare for the presentation? Seriously, I got so many to talk about. Like, you're just not talking about one sentence and finish. It's about describing. English something is called a describing. This. Describe. Describe your answer. Describe your story. Not just say one sentence. Oh, I'm Minnie. Hi. <laughs> no. Who is Minnie? Who am I? What? How come like everyone that I introduced to, they remember my name? Because I always say so much about myself. I'm sorry. I talk a lot. <laughs> but some t try to describe your life. Try to describe your story and in detail, like very, very detail. <laughs> so people will remember some of them, okay? And uh, let's see, out of words, I think that's the same. Have you heard about the <coughs> table topics, the, the, the sequence of how to answer the table topics? There's uh, some, some, some the easy words we say, uh, um, P-R-E-P, <coughs> you know this? Okay, points. Uh, Reasons, examples, and the points. When you get topics, topics from the table topics, right? Uh, method, then you answer the points. But you are going to an answer the points. Like yes, then the reason, an example, and finally back to the original, the your points. Then this is we say the formation formula for the table topic. P R E P. Yeah, like this. Then. She is going to, she is already you know, told us how to do the details. The first for, for the rough, rough idea is P-R-E-P. Points, reason, example, and the points. Yes, this is the formula. You know, when I went to the States, um, I realized the weakness of Asians, that we don't like to talk much. Like, we don't like to get details. So whenever they're in a conversation, it's really hard to talk to you, because you don't really say much. When I ask you, so how's, um, how's your life recently? Like, oh, good. <laughs> Period. Yeah. And then I say, um, so what's new about your school life? Oh, it's good. <laughs> so how was your, uh, did you, are you on a sports team? Oh, swimming. So we said, this, is a, this is a close answer. <laughs> yeah. We always have to give them the open answer. With the open yeah. answer. Yeah, that's what Okay, it's their fault, it's not like <laughs> They asked the question wrong. They had to say, so what's so fun about your swimming? Like, so casual talking is something that we are so used to. Like when you talk to someone, try to give them, even in Chinese, try to give them some details. Um, what's new about that? Like, oh, uh, I did a presentation, I just got my main term. What did you do for your midterm? What hard work, how long, how late did you stay up? Open some fun questions. So, there's, I don't think, I don't really think there, like you can ever run out of something to say. There's always something to say. Just how you can relate to it. Okay? Um, no words. I think this is the mild question. Take some replacement. My vocabulary is really, really weak. So I always use words that I really know. Um, and I used to, like always know. <coughs> so big words, you have to consider your audience. If your audience is a group of Chinese, Taiwanese, and their English stuff is about the same as you, even if you use some big words, they don't even understand. You don't say hyper the road and 
I have no idea about that. You say Jackson is in accounting, right? So choose the words right, like how to say wisely. It doesn't have to be big words. Um, you can show off to those Americans, but not showing off to Taiwan. The Taiwan don't need to be words. Um, <coughs> I remember um, there's things that were missing. Um, there is something that. What? <laughs> I was worried about all these things coming to you. Oh, I'm I should wear my pants. Sorry! It's a very good one. I'm almost recovered, so it's fine. Put your max on. What was I going to say? Oh! You know, there's a word that in our writing class we like to say moreover did you use this word a lot moreover or like something more moreover you know americans don't use this word it's my opinion that it's my opinion that no in english composition so, I say, wait, my teacher taught me that. Your teacher may not be right. <laughs> in, oh, sorry, in my opinion. In my opinion, I think. I think in my opinion is the exactly same thing. So you can just say, I think. In my opinion, that is really, um, how do you say, really, in the American way, it's a really awkward way to say, how do you think? You can say, I believe. So they don't say this. They don't say that. Oh, uh, of course, it's your opinion that you say. It yeah, it is. Of course, you say things about your opinion. Uh, it's like you say something according to someone. If it, according to someone, you have to say in my opinion. So, in my opinion, is a really redundant word uh, or sentence or phrase that you use. Moreover, it's the same. They don't. Uh, uh, I say that it's a speech. You are already something moreover. You don't even say moreover. So more over is a really okay, a yeah a lot more to say. So you don't say more over because you already have something there to say. Okay, so there are some really um, I would say how do you say this? Um, the thing that we thought yes. Okay, how how about this? Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Thank Typical you. Taiwanese answer. Yeah. Fine, thank you. <laughs> Should be plus and you. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Wow, so typical Taiwan. You're from Taiwan, yes. Definitely, you're from Taiwan, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, how come people? How come I can know that you're from Taiwan? Cause did you teach me? Teach me that. I'm fine, thank you. And you? <laughs> Gosh, so sick. <laughs> I used to say that all the time, but when I went to the states. They ask me, hey Minnie, how are you? This is everything that I asked in the morning. Hey, how are you? Uh, I say, hi, thank you. <laughs> and they thought, are you okay? I was like, wait, I'm fine. <laughs> I say, I'm fine, thank you. But I say, okay, okay. But then later I realized, they don't say, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. It's for British people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and they, and you, can, you can say, you can definitely say fine, thank you. But in America, please say good. Oh, okay. Hi, how are you? Good. good. Doing good. Doing well. Even you can say doing good. American grammar is horrible, so oh. don't don't be afraid to make mistakes. Doing good okay. is definitely okay. Uh, of course, you say doing well. Right, <laughs> the difference. Americans Americans say doing good, <laughs> but you can say doing well. Doing well is more. Good. <laughs> this is <Okay>. more correct. <laughs> so how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good, Miss. You're good. I'm fine, Miss. I'm not good. <laughs> so if you say I'm fine, means I'm um, just fine. <laughs> do, do you see what I mean? So if you say fine, it's like yeah, fine. Fine. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Is, is this sentence behind? So, <laughs> something that you think can be really, really good. Oh, look, 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 look. Anyway, I just come over with this thing. So, um, a lot of times, a lot of phrases 
words that you use may not be right. But you never know because you're on the stage. You just have to answer the question next time. And the session master still asks you, hey, how are you? And I say, fine, thank you. No, don't say fine, thank you. Good, I'm good. Okay? And you can say thank you. Good, you? Or just you? Oh, no Some really, yeah, right? Like uh, mm, uh, <coughs> Douglas uh, or another Is Florence. Florence. Florence? Florence. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Good, good. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like, hey, how are you? Good, good. You? Douglas also. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Work is hard. Okay, so where have first been there? Um, how have it been? Yeah, how have you been? Do you know how you can answer this? Of course, good, good is good, uh, like yeah. always good answer. So how have it been? Good. How have it been? Can you answer the exactly same thing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah. How do you do? So you ask me, how have you been? How have you been? Same. Same. Oh. <laughs> so the first time, I have no idea. What is how have you been? What is it? How have you been? Same. It's the same as how are you? But why you say is it like this? Exactly. That's something I want to ask. How do you do? <laughs> yeah. How do you do? I say good. Have you, how have you been? So like. It's something like you ask back, like oh. you're good, and you ask oh. them, how are you, something like that. Okay. Good. It's really weird, I know. <laughs> you, you can look it so up. So what would, the, would it, the person who asked you, uh, so good. what would, good? Good. <laughs> oh, I don't just get hard, been hard, been hard, been hard. Oh, no ending. They were stuck. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it is a good. So good is the more common answer than fine okay, in good. the states. I have to say, I'm not sure about the UK, but I'm sure if you say I'm fine in UK, it's definitely okay. This is a language class. It's not the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I want to say. Casual talking is more important than speech. I have to say, because. People realize, wow, you did this wonderful speech and you cannot communicate with people. <laughs> you can do this brilliant speech and you definitely memorize all of it because you have no idea how to communicate. Because <laughs> you have no idea how to say hi. I have this friend and when my teacher, uh, when our professor actually, she, he's a, my professor is an ABC. He said, hey, how are you? I said, yeah, I did my homework last week. <laughs> hey, how are you? I did my homework last week. <laughs> no, you answer how how are you doing? You don't say I'm good. I did it. <laughs> so then they are so they are not understanding the question. In order to respond, you have to understand the question first. So how are you? Good. So how's about your life? So oh, you know what? I finished my homework like yes. something like that. So make sure you understand the question. Same with table talk. Make sure you understand the question. If you don't, then go ahead. The word, the, the case that opposed her is that he has absolutely no idea. Seriously, he has absolutely no idea. That's why he make up story. But if you know a key, some of the key words, maybe I should ask you, uh, <coughs> how was your vacation to the States? Uh, how was your vacation to other country? You have no idea what vacation is. What is vacation? I know I guess not. But what is vacation? I have no idea what vacation is. But then you start with how was your vacation last summer or last summer? Summer, 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 you know. You know summer. Okay, last summer I did something. Something you can make it right. When swimming there. Okay? Okay. Um about going blank. And stage fright. Stage fright is something that we all encounter. Um, I I cannot say there's anyone that's not afraid. If you ever see Paul Sharp, he's really really confident on stage. But if you listen to his story, like before one year before, he has no courage to stand on stage. He's an American. He has no idea how how you know why? he ever. Why? Why he changed? I kind of heard uh, I kind of heard the story. It was one of his mom and his wife, and then people encouraged him. Uh, I think you know, because uh, for example, like TGI, according to my observation, I think because the atmosphere is yeah. so relaxed uh -huh. and they always make fun of, of each other. You know? so I they think will that always throw something to people and yeah, I think that's laugh important. it out loud. Yeah, that's important for, for people to learn communication skills. I say ATM. communication skills. That, that, that's the point. For another example, like uh, legacy. Have you heard legacy? <coughs> 
is another to Smith's club. Also, we pick among the members there. So I think the same. It's the atmosphere, yeah. is that? Yeah, atmosphere, yeah. A lot of people came to TV's PJD and felt like, you guys are crazy people. Yeah, crazy. Because yeah. we are so, we're so out of we were just like talking everything that we could and, and that kind of atmosphere you're so relaxed and you're not afraid. I believe in interiors as well because we guys are crazy. So. Uh, another, I think another thing is because the most of the members are belong uh, are belief, uh, the same beliefs. Yeah, we are all Christians. Christian, yeah. You guys are Christian? T-I-E-N? So yeah, um, that's the case. So the exactly same speech I deliver in FJU and NCCU, the oh, the reaction can be totally different. I deliver I deliver exactly exactly same speech. It's not one word different. In FJU first, and then to NCCU. The and FJG, <coughs> the same speech. Sorry. Same speech. Prefer speech. And FJU left that they are about to die. <laughs> they left so hard and I have no idea why they were laughing so crazy. <laughs> but as you see, they were so calm. They were like sitting there still. And I said, you're only two years old. I was like, you guys can laugh. And I have no idea. So that's the atmosphere problem. Like if it belongs to a different club, it can be, it can really affect your speech. And it really affect your answer. For Table topic as well. If you say something like even this little things, if the atmosphere is good, if the people are crazy about your speech, about you as well, if they're crazy about you, even if you say something, even if you say nothing.